Dear Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day and this opportunity you've given us. We ask God that you put your hand upon us and smile upon this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask. Amen. Happy and holy is the sacred hour when two devoted hearts are bound by the enchanted ties of matrimony. Levi and Sarah have come together this evening to be blessed of our Heavenly Father, the one who ordained marriage as the cornerstone of family life. Marriage is one of the most important steps in life and should be entered into with reverence, humility, and faith. In the book of Genesis, Adam said, Now she is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one. In the book of Proverbs, we read that a threefold cord is not easily broken. This is the type of the man and of the woman and of God, all three bound together in love. Levi and Sarah, the vows you are about to take are not to be entered into without careful thought and prayer. For in them you are committing your selves exclusively one to another for as long as you both shall live. This is, love is not to be diminished by difficult circumstances and is only to be dissolved by death. As, as God's children by faith in Jesus Christ, the relationship of marriage is especially meaningful. Certainly it's possible for non-believers to marry, but only members of God's family by faith in Jesus Christ ever experience the joy, fulfillment in which God intends marriage to be. Let me remind you, Levi and Sarah, your home will never be what God intends for it to be if you leave him out of your relationship. As you are obedient to the word of God and you allow him to control your relationship, your home will be the place of joy and testimony to the world that God intends. Thank you. <laughs> Levi, do you take Sarah to be your lawful wife? Do you promise before God and these witnesses to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Sarah, take Levi to be your lawful husband, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? Since time began, the ring has been used to seal important covenants. The circle represents unending life. The gold represents untarnished and pure qualities of an ideal marriage state. So may we have the rings. As a ceaseless reminder of this hour and of the vows you have taken, Levi, place this ring on the hand of your bride. The left hand. Put you on the hold it to her. Hold it on her. Look into her eyes. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with loyal love, I thee endow, and with loyal love, I thee endow, and with all my worldly goods, I thee share, with all my worldly goods, I thee share, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Sarah, it's just on the third finger of the left hand of Levi's hand, and push on there and hold it to him and look goo goo into his eyes. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With loyal love, I thee endow. With loyal love, I thee endow. With all my worldly goods, with thee I share. With all my worldly goods, with thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. First Corinthians reads this: that faith, hope, and love abides forever. But the greatest of these is love. Love suffers long in his kind. Love does not envy does not parade itself, does not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks, thinks no evil, evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Inasmuch as Levi and Sarah have in the presence of God and these witnesses consented together in holy wedlock and have pledged the same by giving and receiving rings, I now by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, according to the laws of this state, I pronounce you husband and wife. Those that God joined together, let no man put us under. Thank you. 
this to grow. Privilege to present to you today, Mr. and Mrs. Levi Jones. Yay! <laughs> I don't think anybody standing out here is not tough. <laughs> good job, that's good. <laughs> Are you smiling? <laughs> 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 What? <laughs> <laughs>